हेलो एवरी वन लेट्स टॉक अबाउट बेरिंग टूडे सो बेरिंग इज जनरली कंसिस्ट ऑफ दीज फोर नंबर्स और इन अ वाइडर एक्सपेक्ट सिक्स जीरो जीरो वन टू आर एस दिस इज द मेन नंबर एंड दिस इज द सफिक्स विल टॉक अबाउट इट लीटर फर्स्ट लेट डील विद द फर्स्ट फोर नंबर्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल वी हैव टेकन दिस नंबर दैट इज सिक्स डबल जीरो वन the first number the first number indicates the bearing type so which type of bearing we are using in our plant so the very common very uh, mostly used bearing you will see is a deep groove roller bearing that is type 6 and other than 6 other bearings are shown in the figure like self aligned ball bearing is like this barrel and spherical roller like this tapper roller and there are four few more deep groove like this axial is like this and this is our main concern deep groove ball bearing single row this is how it looks another two are single row and axial cylinder the figure is missing here not required any so six is the most important be focused the first number is mostly six the next going to the second number that is zero that is for example of course we have taken is a bearing series which reflect the robustness of the bearing robustness means the hardness of the bearing so that is classified into six part six types here it is 9 indicates very thin section then 0 indicates extra light 1 indicates extra light thrust 2 is light 3 is medium 4 is heavy you will find 2 3 also in the bearing cover if you'll go through and the last two number is a combined number third and fourth it's related to the bore size dia okay the four size dia is this this dia this dia the in, in internal part internal part of the boring where the moon normally the shaft is inserted so uh, the first 1 2 3 4 4 first four number that is 0001020203 are nominated with a specific diameter that is 10 mm 12 mm 15 and 17 next on if we'll move forward like 040506 and so on it is multiplied by 5 example we have taken as 06 06 is multiplied by 5 that is 30 mm is the bore dia of that particular bearing okay so if we are have we are having a bearing we need to grease it so greasing is must else the bearing will get damaged and the sound will come abnormal sound will be coming from that so the good characteristics are like uh, good channeling it has to go through the bearing that is channeling means resistance to high temperature it must not oxidize the bearing should remain inert these are different temperatures good anti wear performance obviously okay now we have talked about this uh, now this and this part this is the suffix part which is uh, sorry this is the prefix part and this is the suffix part suffix uh, is important prefix is hardly we see in the bearing cover so suffix uh, prefix is this go through it and suffix we'll discuss about the suffix okay suffix it is 2 rs ss 2z 2z and z is is very important even z e 2p and k these are basically according to the application in our pl- in industrial plant mostly 2z bar z is is used in induction motor that is bear, that means bearing with a metal sealed if it is a bearing if we see this is a bearing no this part there will be a metal sealed on both the parts it will cover it so that means 2z and z means metal sealed on only one part so for 2z there is no greasing option so if 2z or z is z z is there on the bearing cover that means we cannot grease it for z we can do greasing and for others like where there is a you know rubber seal or seal word is there the greasing is very prohibited very limited thank you so much